Okay, right before us, we have a new plugin by UJAM called Sparkle Tool. So actually, this is not a new plugin. It's already established itself. Sparkle One, if you guys already have that, but this is the second iteration of Sparkle. This is actually something that people have been requesting that get updated. And so now we are taking advantage of it right now. And so if we may just kind of do a brief overview of the interface here. So right here we have the pickup, which which talks to, you know, you know how guitars are made. You got the neck part of it, and then you got the the bridge or the, the pickup, right? The pickup is take care of it it definitely changes the the sound of the the guitar itself but let's just go to another preset so we, there we go we can hear it a lot better with this one. all right so we we noticed that all right so next to that is the character this deals with with the tone everything in here deals with the tone so there's fat. There's twain. There's bite. All right. So beneath here we have tune. And then right to the right of that is the variant. I feel like that has something to do with tune. I'm not really sure what that does, but <laughs> moving forward, let's get this back. This is your overdrive, your overdrive here, and you have other presets here, a uh, boatload of them actually. Let's turn on the amount, of course. Got to remember to do that. All right, so underneath there is the finisher. This is more like more effects, like a reverb and delay type stuff. You have a effects folder here with all of these, and then you have an ambience folder right here. You know, and then to the right of that, you have the amp, which also deals with the song. Like I say, everything deals with the tone in here, but we definitely have the direct. If you want it clean. Add a little crunch to it. Let me change the preset again. There we go. crisp and crush right here and then if you want to add a little bit more there's a draft all right so here's the focus so when you pull back the focus it sounds like it's giving you more body Give it a little bit more focus. I would say there's probably a better clarity on that. And then you could change the width, which would be your stereo. So it sounds a little bit more mono if we turn it off. All right. And then at the bottom, we have what makes this plug-in so so great i would say for those of you that do not know how to program guitars this is where the brains this is this is the brain of the plug-in right down at the bottom here so you can change up the different styles right and then you can switch up to from player to instrument 
You know what I mean? So it's different modes that you can play with. And then you have these other functions over here. This is your playable area right here. So from the C3 to C5 is your playable area. And then at the bottom, your C1 to C2, that whole range deals with the, the actual key switches of the plugin. All right. And then when you switch over to player, it's kind of the same deal here, but you do have an octave lower than that, which is C0 and then C1 and then C2 deals with the, the style preset. This over here deals with the more so the, uh, what is this down here? It says, oh, that, so C1 is your silence. I don't know who would actually need that, but it might be useful to somebody. But then you have other phrases. So. You see how I change up? So basically what it's doing is playing a style, right? And all I'm doing is just pressing two, two notes here. You know what I mean? That's, that's all I'm doing. And I can just change up the style real quick. Or I can come down here. whatever right so that's how that works and then you have the instrument here let's turn this trigger mode on so the way that this works You have to have one of these key switches selected, which I don't know if I like that. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I feel like it should be, let me pick one of these key switches and it should, and it should latch on. Because otherwise it won't play. <laughs> you just have to play with it. I think it's dope. I use, I use this, you know what I mean? But, you have to understand what it's really doing. And that's really going to depend on you guys when you open this up and you start playing with it. But it is giving you a lot of what a realistic guitarist will think of. Because a lot of us are not guitarists. I'm not a guitarist. So having a plug-in like this is definitely pretty dope. So I'm just keep going through some of the presets. I'm noticing on this side, it says play here. And this is where you would play there, right? That's, this is kind of how this is working. So these different instructions or different tag tagging, it's, it's listed around these, uh, these, these keys telling you where you need to be, you know, telling pretty much what you need to be doing. So play here is right here. And then when you switch over to player, I notice play here is right here. So this is what make, you know, you, you, you play, you do your thing right here and then you know you switch over here and you do your thing over here so if we can just do something else so i'm guessing you can play there too so in this situation you can play the c1 the whole range of c1 and then skip that because c2 becomes key switches and then c3 becomes another section that you can play I'm guessing that's how that works, right? So if I...
You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, this is one of those things you just got to play with because I, you know. But if you go back over to the player, hopefully the player is doing what you would like it to articulate. Kind of playing around right now at this point. You know what I mean? Just you know, that's 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 how this works, you know. Now I'm thinking that the variance deals with whatever's going on here. Let me see. Maybe not. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just kind of playing around. So that's Sparkle 2. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I would have made the beat, but, you know, wanted to keep the video rather short. Ellip, beat culture, lifestyle governed by art.